Hello, I'm Daryl Brown from BrownConsulting.org, and today we will discuss how to deal with a suck-up in the workplace. Each day we deal with a variety of different types of people in the workplace. Some are really good with a strong work ethic. There are those that maybe their level of work ethic may be very and in certain degree, and then there are those that have their own personal agenda when it comes to advancing their careers, at, even at the expense of other people. And those are the people that some would label as people that use flattery as a means to advance themselves, maybe to a supervisor or someone in a position of power. But other people, they may, there's a variety of different names, but one probably most safe for this particular presentation is a suck up or a brown noser or someone of that nature. It, the problem with a person that carries about in a manner in which they have their own personal agenda is very problematic for the work and causes disharmony in the teamwork of the workplace itself. Here are some tips to help you in dealing with a suck up in your workplace in an effort to help promote better harmony and also maybe perhaps to address the issue with that particular person. Tip number one, one of the most important things for you to do when dealing with a suck up in particular is to exceed the boss's expectations of your area of responsibility. That is very important because a person that is looking for means to advance their career at the expense of others, which suck-ups commonly do, it is important that you are on your P's and Q's and protecting yourself so that they don't find an avenue in which to exploit you and advance their careers in that fashion. Tip number two, ignore them but maintain a level of professionalism at all times. Sometimes it's best to limit your interaction as much as possible so that there are no opportunities there for them to disrupt how you conduct yourself at work. Sometimes you will have to work with them in certain projects in certain areas and when that's necessary, as long as you maintain a level of professionalism, that is very important in being able to effectively address the issues with suck-ups. Tip number three, if possible, sometimes getting them away from the office is the best approach. So convince them to telecommute. They didn't discussing that. You can discuss also the potential benefits, especially to the boss, about them increasing productivity because they're working away from the office when in a more subtle approach, you're actually getting them way away from the office environment, which can help to increase harmony and decrease the level of escalation associated with working with that suck up. I'm Daryl Brown from brownconsulting.org and today we discuss tips on how to deal with a suck up in the workplace. Thank you for watching.